Eurovision Song Contest 2016, Iceland, um, represented by Hear Them Calling, performed by Greta Salome, who also represented Iceland with some guy in 2012, uh, with a song that I loved. Uh, I still listen to it. It's, uh, it's a very dramatic, very beautiful song. Uh, this song, which she wrote herself, both the music and the lyrics, so kudos to her. Um, this song, if I'd only heard it, I probably would have liked it more. Uh, but I saw it. Uh, I saw the um, the the uh, presentation that she used in the uh, national selections in Reykjavik, and that was um, how should I put this diplomatically? I felt that it didn't quite match. Uh, the song, it's relatively catchy. Of course, she's a pretty good singer. Um, the song is upbeat uh, and happy, like a slightly dancey pop tune. Um, but the presentation, which is basically her uh, against a background uh, that is relatively dark and has these tremendous dark shadows running across it. Um, the presentation seems extremely dramatic and menacing. You know, like something that brings to mind almost horror movie vibes. Uh, these shadows, human bodies that crash into her and then sort of come out the other side as smoke or as a flock of silhouetted birds and these giant hands reaching for her and she pushes them away. I, of course, quite a significant portion of the audience will not understand English or not understand it well enough to be able to follow the lyrics. And so that may be a plus. But you still have the rhythm of the song, you still have the beat, you have the style of music, which like I said, it's, it's upbeat. Uh, it seems happy. It's something you could dance to. And I just think that the presentation of the song is so incredibly different from the song itself that they're not connected at all. Uh, for me, it's it was bizarre to look at that and hear that music. I I do like the song, and I actually kind of like the presentation too. But they have absolutely nothing to do with each other. Uh, you know, if you're going to write a song that has menacing lyrics about something scary that happens, the music should reflect that. Um, and I just, I just feel like that has not happened at all in this case. So the song is just really schizo. And while it's pretty and, like I said, relatively catchy, um, I was totally weirded out by the presentation, which I would believe that they're keeping for Stockholm, so, uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say about this entry. Definitely not one of my fave Icelandic entries over the years. Definitely not. Weirdness.